SUV and truck mania is real, just ask of 63% of American buyers who opted for the high-riding vehicles last year. But there has been a recent groundswell of alternative options in the burgeoning wagon segment. Sure, there are lower-end wagons such as the Trident True Subaru Outback, $25,895, and the new kid on the block Volkswagen Golf Sport Wagon, $21,580. But the 2018 Jaguar XFS Sport Brake competes more closely with the stalwart Mercedes-Benz E400, $64,045, and the stylish Volvo V90 Cross Country, $52,300. This begs the nagging question, could wagons become a serious thing in the States? We spent a day bombing through Portuguese backroads to find out how the Sport Brake fares among its niche competitive set. The 2018 Sport Brake is a wagonized version of the second Gen XF sedan that arrived in 2016. While the first Gen model only offered a wagon variant for the European market, the new Sport Brake is a global vehicle that brings a more streamlined, aluminum intensive architecture to the table and finally gives American wagon lovers the jack they've been craving. First off, the essential reason we're here the cargo area. Activate the power tailgate, which uses a one-piece composite tailgate, just like the F-Pace, and the opening reveals a flat surface on all sides with 31.7 cubic feet of storage. Fold the rear seats down, and volume expands to a considerable 69.7, an increase of 12.6 and 38.4 cubic feet, respectively. For comparison, the Volvo V90 Cross Country offers 19.853.9 cubic feet, and the Mercedes-Benz E400 wagon has 35.064.0 cubic feet. Folding the Sport Brake's rear seats down produces a nice, flat expanse for cargo, with no obtrusive humps or bumps on the side. Standard rear air suspension keeps things level when loaded up. Onward to the front seats, where the cabin brings the XF's familiar design with the dashboard rimmed in a curved ribbon of wood veneer, a pleasant touch that offsets the otherwise blasé textured aluminum bits on the dash and shifter surround. Of course, there's the love it or leave it cylindrical shifter that rises from the center console, a confounding bit of design that leaves most PR and DL traditionalists cold. So, too, does the plastic starter button on the dash, one of the few unsatisfying puzzle pieces in the otherwise agreeably finished interior. But fire up the engine, and it's easy to forget these quibbles. Click into D, and the sport brake accelerates eagerly thanks to the engine's 332 pounds to foot of torque, which has 4,045 pounds of mass to hustle. The sport brake is 165 pounds heavier than the sedan, so it's closer in weight to the F-Pace SAWD at 4,015 pounds. The V6 offers plenty of power in the standard driving mode, while turning the dial 2S down shifts the 8-speed auto more eagerly. Even in the more aggressive mode, shifts are smooth and predictable, reflecting a well-tuned relationship between engine and gearbox. Paddle shifters respond reasonably quickly to inputs, though the auto shift setup is natural enough not to beg for human intervention. Along Portugal's smoothly paved road surfaces, the sport brake struck a good balance between responsiveness and ride quality, which bodes well for everyday use. And while the sport brake is currently available only with the supercharged V6 and all-wheel drive, Jaguar says more powertrain variants will become available down the line. Mine.